We just want to make the world dance. Oh my god, Marley, you know this song. It's like something my mom and dad will listen to. There are a lot of talented and famous Brits in our pop culture, so we're gonna see how well you know some female British singers. Yeah, good luck with that one, buddy. I'm gonna fail. I don't listen to um, British artists. I'm gonna do terrible on this one. I can't think of, like, literally anyone. <laughs> a little bit nervous, because I really don't know that many, like, female British artists. I feel like I know some, especially, like, the popular ones on the radio, but I don't think I'm gonna do very well. I don't know any, like, female British singers except for, like, one. I'm a little worried about this one, because I feel like a lot of British singers have found a talent in being able to mask their accent through their singing. Everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. Oh, I totally forgot that she was British. Dude, who's this bot? We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. Was this the song that was in Pitch Perfect? She used to be a judge on The Voice with like Will I Am. I used to watch that all the time. They were so funny. Do you know this one? Who is this? Who is this? I know this song. I just can't think of anyone. The song's called Price Tag. I have no idea who it's by. Price Tag by Jesse J. Jesse J. Price Tag. That was Jesse J with Price Tag. This is Price Tag by Jesse J. Yeah, I've never heard of Jesse J. I would have never guessed that. I know it's from Kiss Bop. Which is weird to say, but I know it from Kiss Bop. I used to listen to her all the time. This song was like like number one, like when I was like in the sixth grade. Price Tag was featured in the movie Pitch Perfect, and Jesse J also wrote the original song Flashlight, featured in Pitch Perfect 2. I've never seen either of the Pitch Perfect movies. I can't believe I've never seen them. Oh yeah, wait, I know, I remember that. Okay, I love that song. She's genius then, because she's writing all these songs and I'm like in love with them. This voice sounds super familiar. This is definitely newer. I don't want to hear sad songs anymore. I only want to hear love songs. I've never heard the song before in my life. She does not sound British at all. <laughs> Ooh, those harmonies. This sounds so familiar, but I don't think I've heard it. I thought it was cool. Like, I could definitely like see myself rolling windows down like to the beach with friends. Do you know it? No. I have no idea. No idea. No, I don't. This is your song by Rita Ora. Rita Ora. I've heard her name so many times lately, and I, I don't think I've heard any of her stuff, actually. She's British, too? Oh my gosh, what the heck? She was like in a song with like Iggy Azalea. Oh my god, Marley, you know this song. Come on. This is like one of those like oh classic songs. It's crippled by the pain that I keep on closing. Yes. You come me open and I keep bleeding, keep, keep bleeding the love. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, okay. It's, I know, okay, I know the title now. It's like her name's right there. Do you know this one? Uh, no. I have no idea, honestly. Keep Bleeding by Pink. It's called Bleeding Love, but I have no idea who it's by. Bleeding Love, something S-H or Lewis. Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis. This is Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis. Leon, who? Whoa! I was way off. I don't even know who that is, but I've heard that song a thousand times. Leona Lewis, that's what it was. 
I was thinking Sharona Lewis. I love her so much. And she had like the Footprints in the Sand song, Better in Time. I know all this, guys. I'm like an expert on her. In 2006, Lewis was the winner of The X Factor, which earned her a $1 million contract with Simon Cowell's music label. Since her win, Lewis has become the most successful winner from any X Factor series. That's really interesting. It's kind of, it's, I feel like it's really cool to see artists who won shows like X Factor and the award shows like that and then turn into these like really big artists with incredible opportunities. This is interesting, very like romantic. It's like something my mom and dad will listen to. Ugh. No clue. Oh my gosh. Set your spirit free. It's the only way to be. Still doesn't sound British. None of these, they, none of them have accents. Do you know this classic female group? No. Definitely not. Don't know the song. No more group. Spice Girls? Your Love by Spice Girls. This is To Become One by the Spice Girls. Oh, the Spice Girls. I never really listened to them. I know they were like super popular and everything. Spice Girls? I only know Wannabe. That's the only song by them I know. I want to listen to more Spice Girls songs. I feel like I would enjoy it because I can rock out to Wannabe. This is different. I think I know this. I love this song. Oh my god, what? I think I know this one. I know I've heard it before and I've no I know I've heard that voice because it's like a voice you can't forget. You know this one? I don't know the song or artist. Back to Us by Adele. Amy Winehouse and Back to Black. It's Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. It's Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. I thought she was like from the US. This is Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. Oh my god, it's Amy Winehouse! Dude, I was so confident in myself. I haven't listened to too much of her music, but her voice did sound familiar. She's an artist that I actually like have really vivid memories of hearing her music when I was younger. Whenever I'm in the mood to feel like I'm like a badass bitch, I listen to Amy Winehouse. Tell me your favorite song. I love this song. Some shit my mom would be bumping to in the car. Oh, this is another one of those where it's like, I know it, but I don't. Oh, I used to listen to this song all the time. It was like my favorite thing to listen to. Do you know this British singer? No idea. I don't know. No, I have no idea. No, oh, and I'm very angry because like, I, I feel like I do know it, but I don't. Put your records on by, I have no idea. Put your records on, Corinne Bailey Ray. Put your records on by Corinne Bailey Ray. This is Put Your Records On by Corinne Bailey Ray. I've never heard of her. I still don't know who that is. The song's opening line, Three Little Birds Sat on My Window, is a reference to Bob Marley and the Wailers' 1980s hit, Three Little Birds. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love when artists do that. I like when they like mix stuff in. It's like little Easter eggs. That's my namesake too. I love this girl so much more now. Know, know the artist, know the song. Okay, very classic song. I was listening to it yesterday. I love her voice. It's such a good song. She has such an incredible voice. 
She's so good. Last one, do you know this famous British singer? That voice, that voice is like so familiar. I don't know, this is, I thought I was gonna get like one. That is Adele. Still don't know the song name. Should I buy Adele? Should I give up? by Adele. Chasing Pavements by Adele. Chasing Pavements by Adele. It's Adele and the song is Chasing Pavements. This is Chasing Pavements by Adele. Adele, okay. I was like, I know this voice. When she first came out with like rolling the deep and everything like that, I was definitely really into her. The song is iconic. It's so popular. It's probably one of um, Adele's number one hit songs. If you know Adele, you know the song. Thank you for watching this episode of Do They Know It on the React channel. Want more? Then subscribe. There's new shows every week. If you enjoyed this episode, then hit that like button. Hello there, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for watching this amazing episode of Female British Singers. Do you have any honorable mentions? Let us know in the comments. Toodle pip!